Hello everyone, welcome back. Today, I'll be teaching you the basics of perfect buttercream that's required for any dessert that you may want to make. This beautiful frosting is the most popular and just as easy to make. But there are a few tips I'd like to share. So if you'd like to learn how to make this creamiest buttercream, then just keep watching. To make this basic buttercream, we will need some room temperature butter, along with a store-bought icing sugar which contains maize starch and some cold milk. The first step is to ensure your icing sugar is well sifted. This only helps to make the buttercream even more smoother without any lumps. Next, we will take the room temperature butter into a medium-sized mixing bowl. It's important to note that the butter should not be too soft and sloppy. It should be soft enough to cut through with the whisk blades, but firm enough to maintain its shape. We will need to whisk it for a good 4-5 to five minutes, which may seem like a very long time, but it's a crucial step, so don't skip it. And make sure to scrape the sides of the bowl as you go. Notice the butter has now changed its color from pale yellow to pale white. It has also doubled in volume. This is exactly what we are looking for. Once you have achieved this consistency, we are now ready to add the icing sugar. Taking about a quarter cup of icing sugar at a time and whisking it for about 2 minutes between each addition is the key to a smooth buttercream. An important tip to note here is that your home ground powdered sugar would not work in this case. The icing sugar should be store bought which contains maize starch as this helps to stabilize the cream. The ideal ratio to butter and icing sugar is 1 is to 2 but the one I'm showing here gives a more smoother and less sweeter aftertaste as compared to the store bought ones. Finally, with the last batch of icing, we will mix in about a teaspoon of milk and make a paste before adding it in. This method helps to get the super creamy texture I mentioned about. This recipe may not have many ingredients to work with, but following every step is quite crucial if you want to achieve that gourmet style taste that simply melts in your mouth without any grits. Finally, adding in a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract or any flavoring of your choice. We have now achieved the ultimate creamy, silky smooth buttercream. And notice how I'm rubbing the spatula over it. This is to make sure there aren't any air bubbles trapped in it. Now the final test is to scoop a dollop of cream and see that it shouldn't fall off when overturned. This is a thumbs up. So we can go ahead and start filling the piping bag now. It's always best to work with a small batch at a time. I have taken a separate bag for the butter cream and another for the nozzle. This way we can change the nozzle tip as per the decoration that you'd want to do. And it's even easier to store the cream without having to empty it into another container. I'm using a small star tip nozzle here for these delicious butter cookies to make them even more decadent. The recipe for these cookies can be found in the link above. The buttercream can be stored in your freezer for up to 2 months, which can be handy for any time you need it by simply bringing it down to room temperature. Here I'm using a built-in 2D tip. If you are interested, the details of this and the other products are given in the description box below. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.